Yo, what's going on YouTube? Cameron here, and today we're gonna to be tackling performance mode. We're gonna give you higher FPS, we're gonna reduce input delay, and more importantly, we're gonna fix anybody who's having any errors in performance mode. I've had some people tell me that they're stuck in performance mode. Help me out of this, Let's go! Me out of this one by one step, bro. I'm I got stuck. six minis. Oh my God. And also some people are just having errors in general, like there's an internal error with Fortnite or, uh, or it closed unexpectedly. Just anything that's going on, like if Fortnite crashes or you have bugs in it, this is gonna help fix any of those issues as well because it has to do with your data on your Fortnite game file. So the first thing I wanna tackle is if you're stuck in performance mode. For some reason, you're not able to switch out of it. So typically the reason that's happening is you just need to fix your config file on Fortnite. To open your Fortnite config file, if you haven't done it in a hot minute, you're gonna type in percent local app data percent sign and you'll get this folder here. When you open it, just scroll down until you see Fortnite game and then open that and then open saved, config, Windows client, and here's your game user settings. So here's the reason it's usually stuck. If you right click it and go to properties, it's probably only on read only. If you untick read only and then reload Fortnite, you should be able to change between rendering modes. And if it's on read only, sometimes Fortnite, well typically Fortnite's not able to make any changes to it. Um, I recommend people put it on read only if you set up a specific tweak in your game user settings you want to tick read only because then it can't be changed by the game automatically. If that doesn't work, because this is all local data, like even the whole Fortnite game folder, what you can do is go back to local app data, go down to Fortnite, and this is a little bit more nuclear because you're going to have to reset your uh, like settings in Fortnite. But if you have like five minutes to reset your settings, then just delete it. You can literally delete the entire Fortnite game folder. Uh, you'll have to close Fortnite to do that. But you can delete it and it will just repopulate on its own the next time you load up Fortnite. Everything we discuss in this video is optimizing Fortnite outside of Fortnite. But if you need the best in-game settings, be sure to check the video on the screen now. There's a link to it in the description and it gives you all the best in-game settings for Fortnite. Here's a couple other tips that are going to help speed up the process of your Fortnite game and make it run even smoother. Open up your Epic Games Launcher. Since everybody who clicked on this video is probably using performance mode anyways, what I recommend you guys do is go into your options under Fortnite. And when you open up options, you're going to see all these options here. If you don't use save the world or high resolution textures, you can remove that. And what that's going to do is just focus solely on your Fortnite Battle Royale and the Fortnite core game files. And this should help speed it up. It might even give you a boost in FPS. And it usually fixes a lot of bugs that are caused by your game just trying to load Fortnite. So I'm going to show you another tweak we want to do with Fortnite that's going to help give you a bit of an FPS boost and it also tackles a bunch of errors. So the next thing you're going to do is go to your file explorer. Then you're going to click on your C drive. That's usually what you have Fortnite installed. If not, you know, click on whichever drive you have Fortnite installed on. When you click on C drive, you're going to go to program files and then Epic Games, then Fortnite. Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and here you'll see a bunch of options. You're gonna scroll down until you see Win64 shipping. Just the standard shipping, not the BE or EAC version of shipping. Once you find it, right click it, go to properties. So in properties, you're gonna have some tabs at the top here. Click on the compatibility tab. So the first thing I recommend doing is checking disable full screen optimizations. This in some way can cause your game to freeze or stutter. Uh, it really depends on, uh, I think like the version of Windows you're on. But in some cases, your, your system will not run well with full screen optimizations. So checking this may resolve any errors you're getting. Um, it also could help with just performance in general. The next thing you wanna do is click on change high DPI settings. And there's a couple options here. You wanna use override high DPI scaling behavior scaling performed by application. So make sure this is checked. Uh, by default, they are not. So you'll have to change these manually. So just check it and then click OK and you can close out of there. And that actually helps the game run a little smoother in my opinion. The next thing I recommend you guys do because sometimes they might just be things wrong with the drive you have Fortnite installed on is to defrag and also to declutter your drives. So to defrag it first, you're gonna go to your search and type in defrag and you'll see defrag and optimized drives 
And you can do all the drives if you want, or just the one you have Fortnite installed on, which is the C drive. Then you just click optimize, and it's basically going to run through all of them. And this helps your PC run more efficiently. It, it analyzes files and optimizes them. So if there's any errored files or things that just aren't working right, it'll clear them out and kind of fix them. The next thing you want to do is type in disk and you'll see disk cleanup as an uh, it's another app that's just already on your PC. Do the same thing for disk cleanup on both drives and you'll see all the things right here in this window that it's going to basically go through and delete any extra like buggy or unnecessary files basically. It's gonna clean it up. And typically they're super fast, like they'll take maybe a couple minutes if that, um, and then once that's done, we're moving on. So we're blasting through these steps, but there's still a couple extra ones we wanna go through. The next thing we wanna do is go back into your Epic Games Launcher and this is sort of like a basic step. It actually probably should have been at the front of the list in terms of steps. So the next thing we want to do is again, we're going to click on these three little dots. It's the extra options for Fortnite. We're going to go to manage and you'll see an option here that says verify files. What this does is also scans through all your core files on Fortnite and it's basically optimizing them or rewriting and fixing files that are like errored out, not working correctly. So again, that can really help, especially if you're getting any errors in Fortnite. Uh, yeah, that should have been at the front of the pack. I don't know why I just now got to that. One more thing, guys, if you're running into any other issues with your latency or if you're lagging at all, something that may help you get a more stabilized, better connection is downloading NoPing. It's a gaming VPN software. They have, like, I think a thousand different servers all over the globe that help optimize your uh, latency and give you a faster connection to servers near you. So you can test it out for seven days at the link down in the description. But yeah guys, I hope that we helped fix all your issues in Fortnite. If you're having any other issues, let me know what the specific issue is down in the comment section below. Maybe me or somebody else who's knowledgeable will respond, try to help you out and get your PC working correctly. But uh, as always, it's been your boy Cameron. Catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out for now.